3D Acrylic Owl Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. So we're going to begin by forming the nail bed area in the smile line, and I'm using a sheer pink acrylic. So you're going to want to grab a fairly large bead and then press that against your nail tip, and then you're going to want to smooth it out towards the back. And then grab another smaller wetter bead and fill in the cuticle area and smooth that over the first bead of acrylic that you placed. Once that has hardened, you're going to want to file the smile line, and this is just going to smooth it out so that it's perfect and just the way you want it. So now I'm going to be applying a layer of glitter acrylic, and this, this acrylic is clear, it's a clear base. Um, but it's got large glitter flakes and little hexagon glitters, so it's not, I mean, it is a glitter, but it isn't super flashy. It, they're all kind of white and just iridescent. And if you did want your background to be bright white, you could have added a layer of white acrylic and then the glitter on top. But I decided that the natural look of the nail tip was just fine, so I thought I'd leave it like that. So now I'm going to be encasing the entire nail tip with clear acrylic. And as you're doing this, you're going to want to go over the top of where the pink is, the nail bed area. But you don't want to thicken that too much, but you do want to add another layer of clear over it just to help smooth the transition between the tip and the nail bed. And you want to get it as smooth as you can in this step so there's less filing. So now you're going to want to file that nail until it is smooth and just how you want it. And now I'm going to be buffing the nail with a padded file, and this is 240 grit. This is just going to remove the scratches the other one may have left behind. So now I'm going to start on my owl, and I'm going to be forming her wings first. And these are almost like parenthesis shapes, so I'm going to use a dark, well it's not really super dark, but like a medium blue acrylic. And I'm going to be adding a wing on each side. And as you're making these, you're going to want to think of them as making the frame. Because you're making the frame of which her the feathers on her stomach are going to be. So it's kind of a weird thing, but this way you know where her, you know, you're making her outline first almost. And as you're forming the wings, you're going to want to flatten and pull them until you have that nice rounded shape. And you don't want them to be too thick either. Too, um, too wide, I guess. Not necessarily thick, but wide. So now between her wings, we're going to be adding her belly feathers, as I said, and I'm going to be doing them in layers of purple and green. So I'm going to start with purple, and this is a shimmery acrylic. It's super pretty. Um, so when you're making these feathers, place the bead and then smooth it back towards where her head is going to be. So smooth them up so it's thickest at the bottom, and it's going to get thinner as it goes. And it's almost like a petal shape. So now I'm going to be moving on to green. And so you're just going to want to fill them in and fill them across and however they fit, you know, so you don't want, you don't want to go over the top of her wings, but you also don't want there to be extra space. So work them in however they fit the best. So now I'm going back to purple. And then the last layer, you do want that to be just slightly above her wings so that there's no gap by her head either. So now with a medium to a large size bead, we're going to be making her head. So just flatten that out into an oval and make sure that it's got a nice crisp line between her head and her wings and her tummy feathers. And then if you do need to, you can always add a second bead to give it a nice rounded shape. 
And whenever you're working with glitter acrylic, you're going to want to make sure that you get the excess monomer out of the back of your brush. So now using that same blue, I'm going to be adding the little feather tufts on her head. So these are almost like super tiny cat ears, if you want to think of them as cat ears. But that's kind of how they look. So I'm going to add one on each side. And I'm also just going to fix, there's kind of a weird shape on that side, so I'm just going to smooth that out with just a little bit more acrylic. So now I'm going to be adding a bead of purple acrylic by where each of her eyes is going to be, and then I'm just sort of feathering that out. So I'm not making, I don't want it to necessarily be a smooth, perfect line um, around the outside edge. I just want it to look kind of natural and like it's blended out. This is also really thin, it's not a thick layer at all. So now with white, you're going to want to make her eyes. So just place a bead and then flatten it into a nice circle. And I'm going to make one of her eyes a little bigger than the other one. So now taking a really wet bead of your blue, just sort of go around her eyes, almost like you're giving her eyeliner. And as, if you go over it a couple times, it's going to thicken, and it's going to give her her eyelids. So you're almost like tracing it with that bead, and it's just going to keep getting thicker and thicker until you've got a nice eyelid shape going on. So now I'm going to take brown acrylic and I'm going to make the branch. And so this is just a thin line of acrylic that goes right underneath her bottom layer of feathers. So now take a small bead of acrylic and then pull that down into a point shape between her eyes. And this is going to be like a triangle for her beak. And then with another bead of orange acrylic, Place that down below and then split that in, you know, if you just dig your brush in, you can split it for her toes. So now I'm going to also thicken her wings up just because I want them to stick out a little taller than where her belly feathers are. So just add another bead on top and smooth that over. with acrylic paint, so not acrylic powder and liquid, but acrylic paint, I'm going to be painting her pupils. And the reason you want to use paint here instead of the hardening acrylic is because you don't want to add any more thickness to her eyes, and this is just going to dry smooth and flat. So then add a white reflection in each eye, and I'm going to make this by two dots, one a little bigger than the other. So now with a glossy top coat, I'm going to add top coat all around, but not over the owl. So I'm also going to go over her branch, but you don't want to go over her feet too much or like her ears or anything. So then with matte top coat, go over your owl. And with this, you pretty much want to focus on going over her eyes because you don't want that acrylic paint to wash off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I would love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!